In this video, I'm going to show you how to send crypto from pretty much anywhere like the popular exchange Coinbase to your Ledger hardware wallet. This was a highly requested video from you guys, including Ali, so shout out to everyone for the inspiration. I'll show you how to do it on both a computer and a smartphone. This will work for any Ledger device, which is the S, the X, and the brand new S Plus, which I have reviewed on this channel. Link to that will be up here and down below. I'm going to show the X because it's my preferred device and you can also find a link to buy it down below. But just know that it'll be pretty much the same for all three. Couple things you'll need. First, you'll need an account from wherever you're buying your crypto. This will probably be on an exchange. Obviously, I can't show you how to send every single crypto from every single exchange, so I'm just going to use USDC on Coinbase as an example. But overall, it's pretty similar across most platforms. If you want a full guide on how to use the Coinbase platform, as well as 30 to $40 of free crypto, check out my video up here and down below. Second, you will also need to set up your Ledger device, and if you need help with that, watch the first half of my setup guide, which again, will be up here and down below. Friendly reminder that you will get a 24 word seed phrase when you set it up. Do not put that anywhere besides on the physical device or you could get scammed or hacked. I just got back from skiing in Utah, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little funky. I'm not feeling 100%, but I still want to get this video out for you guys. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so here we are on my laptop screen. Uh, I got Ledger Live up. Um, so I'm assuming that you have the Ledger set up again with the Ethereum app installed. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll just go show you how to do it real quick. So if you go into manager, and so in your ledger, it'll say allow ledger manager. So just go ahead and double click on that. Put that back down, head over back to ledger live. It'll show up. And then you can look through this app catalog and then just go down to Ethereum or whatever crypto that you want to send. And then you hit the install button that's gonna be right here. It's gonna look like that. So just hit that. And then once you do that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and if also, if you don't have an account, we're gonna go ahead and add an account. So let's do that. So add Ethereum account, so you can do that there. Or you can also just go into account and then hit this add account button. And then you can select your crypto assets. And we're gonna do Ethereum as an example because again, USDC runs on the Ethereum network. So then go ahead and click continue. Then it's going to open the app for you on the device. So again, you just come in here and it'll just automatically pop up open Ethereum app. So then you just double click on that. All right, put that back down, go back over to Ledger Live, give it a sec. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it as Ethereum too, but just know that you can come in here and rename it to like, uh, I don't know, Ethereum main or something like that. You can name it whatever you want, uh, but I'm gonna leave it as Ethereum too. So then go ahead and click add account. And there you go, account has been successfully added. Uh, so let's click done. And if we scroll down, I have a lot of accounts, but if you scroll down, you'll see uh, Ethereum 2 has been added right here. So now that we have an account created for Ethereum, uh, we have a wallet. So let's go ahead and grab that address since we'll need to know where we're sending it to. So go ahead and click Ethereum 2 or whatever you called it. Then go ahead and click receive. And then you'll see this warning here. It says, please only send Ethereum or Ethereum tokens to Ethereum accounts, right? Don't send it on the raw network or you might lose your crypto. Go ahead and click continue. Then it's going to ask you to verify your address on the ledger device. So go ahead and take a look at your ledger. Um, it'll ask you to verify the address. So then click the right button and let's make sure that this matches the address that is shown on the laptop. So, okay, yeah, that looks right. Yep, that looks right to me. So what we need to do now is take this address once we've validated it, make sure that you copy it by pressing this uh, copy button and then we're going to paste it somewhere that's easily accessible. So with that, I'm going to use Apple Notes. So what we can do in here is say, you know, we'll call it addresses, addresses, and then we'll go ahead and paste it in here. So there is the address that we're going to use. Now this might be a little confusing because I said don't store things on, you know, on cloud accounts or online anywhere, but it's okay if we do this because this is a public address and with this alone, no one can steal your crypto. It's when they have the seed phrase or the private key. That's the only time that they can steal your assets with it. So you can store this anywhere you want for easy access. Again, I'm using Apple Notes, but you can also use something like Google Keep. 
You can use Google Drive on, let's say like a Word doc. Uh, you could even use like something like Dropbox in a text document, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's accessible across platforms, it'll just make your life easier. So now that we have it pasted, let's go back into Ledger Live. And if you want to finish the address verification, you can go ahead and do that. So you can click right once more and then click approve. And then if we go back to Ledger Live, it'll say, okay, address shared successfully. So let's go ahead and click done. All right, so now we have our address of where we need to send it to. So let's go ahead and send the actual crypto to it. So with that, again, I'm gonna be using USDC on Coinbase as an example. So you see, I have that pulled up here. And if I click assets, all right, so we're in assets and now you can see my 40 USDC down here. So let's go ahead and click send and receive. Uh, we want to send uh, and let's make sure that we are sending the right crypto. So I wanna send USDC. So let's go ahead and select that. And I wanted to send $1 first. So this is a test transaction and it's always a good idea to do this when you're sending to an address for the first time. Even Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum, does this to this day and recommends that everyone do this. So if the guy who basically made this is telling you to do it and also does it himself, it's probably a good idea to do it as well. So we'll send $1 of USDC. The two option is going to be that address that we pasted in earlier. So let's go ahead and just copy it one more time if we need to. So go ahead and copy. Should already be on the clipboard, but we'll just make sure. Paste, okay, and then make sure that it is correct. Looks like it is. So let's go ahead and click continue. Looks like the network fee is around three. Oh wow, three dollars, that's actually much better. It was around like 10 or 15 when I was playing around with this earlier. Um, so let's go ahead and click send now. All right, so now you see it'll ask me for a 2FA code. I have that set up. If you don't have it set up, it won't ask you, of course. But let me go ahead and just punch that in. Now it says that it is sending that one USDC uh, to the address and it'll take about 10 minutes. So we'll wait 10 minutes and see if it shows up. Oh, look at that, it already showed up. And actually this has been about 30 seconds since I last said that. So if we go over to the Ethereum account that we had just created, and scroll down, you'll now see that there is under tokens, right? Because this is a token on the Ethereum network. Uh, there is one USDC now in the account. So looks like it made it in. Now that you know that it works, you can go in and send as much USDC to that address as you want. And another cool thing that I'll just show you real quick, if you go up here and click MetaMask, you'll see the exact same address right here that I have loaded from my ledger into MetaMask and you'll see that one USDC is also in here. So I could use this on you know, any number of DeFi platforms. So if you wanna learn how to do this, check out my video linked up here and down below. So now that we've done this on the desktop, let's go ahead and show you how to do it on mobile. All right, so here we are with my phone. The first thing, again, that we're gonna need to do is get the address. So let's head over to accounts and we're gonna scroll all the way down and you'll see my Ethereum 2 with that one USDC that I had sent to it. Now I synced this address from my desktop app and if you don't know how to do that, I go over that in my full ledger guide, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, basically you just scan a QR code from your phone. So what you can do is click into this and then we'll say we wanna receive, so hit this uh, ellipses button and then hit receive and you'll see that there's an error, that's because I don't have my ledger on. Um, you saw how to do it earlier, how to verify an address, so we'll just click out of this and most of the time there's an option to say continue without my device. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a lazy way. I recommend you do it the way that I just showed you, but you know, if you're confident that this address is working, which I am since we just showed it, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, continue without device. So now you'll see that we have the address shown up with both the QR code and the actual address string itself. So go ahead and click this copy address button a couple times just to make sure that you got it. And again, let's go ahead and save this into a place that's very easily accessible for us later on. So if we go ahead over to the notes, and again, you'll see here that that note that I had created on the desktop app is also showing up here in my phone. So if you click addresses, look at that, it's the exact same address. So if we just hit return, I'll paste that one that we had just copied. Boom, it's the exact same thing. So you don't have to do all that whole step if you save it in a easily accessible spot like notes. Just a quick little shortcut if you ever need to do that. 
All right, so now that we have the address, let's go ahead and send another USDC from Coinbase onto our ledger. So I'll go ahead and hit done there. Now let's go into Coinbase and we will hit send. And we wanna send USDC again, so let's go ahead and switch that over to USDC. We'll send one again, just as a test transaction, just in case, you never know. Then go ahead and click continue. And then sometimes it'll just automatically paste the address in, but if not, just tap on the little field there and then go ahead and click paste or not. It might also show up with this uh, paste from clipboard button. So go ahead and tap that. There you go, okay, cool. Make sure that the address is right, looks right so far. So let's go ahead and preview the send, right? This isn't gonna actually send it yet. All right, so to address, that looks right. And you can go ahead and do like one of these guys and compare it back and forth if you need to. That looks right. Uh, don't need to send a note. Uh, you'll see the network fee is now $5. So honestly, still pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and send this. So let's click send now. Again, it's gonna ask me for my 2FA code since uh, I set that up. If you didn't send it up, it won't ask you. But I'll go ahead and grab that and type it in. Okay, and it says successfully sent. So. Let's give it another minute or two. Okay, I literally just switched back over just to check and it's already there. So as you can see here, we now have two USDC uh, in our account. So that's very cool. So that's it. That is all you need to do to send crypto to your ledger. You guys seem to be liking these bite-sized videos. So let me know if you wanna see more of these down below. If this video helped you at all, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and you know, might as well subscribe while you're down there too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to grab your free crypto and stocks using the links down below and track them with the portfolio tracker that's also down there. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.